Guys, this is Buck. Um, I've got a CBR 1100XX. Couldn't really find any videos as far as doing uh, the valve shims. I've got the the uh, OE owner's manual here. It was kind of helping me go along. One of the things I had that was really uh, kind of a shock when I pulled everything down is I had adjustable time and cam sprockets, which are not factory. So the factory markings that the manual shows doesn't really apply to mine so it kind of had me in a little bit of a panic so what i did is you don't have to necessarily pull both time and cam sprockets on this bike uh, even though the manual kind of states to pull the cams obviously you would but in this case i just need to get to the shim buckets so for the farthest camshaft which is the easier one to get to i did my paint markings and also I did a little scratch because actually after I rotated the motor a couple times paint markings came off the cams but I undid that bolt and then I did a zip tie right there on the cam sprocket so that's going to be locked to that cam the same position it was when I pulled everything down I did the same thing over here and undid the two bolts over here then rotated it marked it pulled the top cam and the guides they're both sitting over there and now the second cam has enough room you can actually sit in the middle you can pull your buckets for whichever one you need to adjust I only have one that was really bad enough I absolutely had to get to two on the back side was a little little loose so I decided to go ahead and do them as well and now all I have to do is slide the camshaft back over and put the other cam in put the two bolts in and everything's gonna be resynced and of course I did it Based off the time in here, I had to bump it a little bit forward to get to the top camshaft. Spro sprocket bolt, did the bottom bolt, rotate everything center, had everything aligned, and I rotate it just a touch to get that second camshaft sprocket bolt. Part of the reason I like doing it like this is because these would be a pain to get to. Plus, with mine being adjustable, I can't even see too well to where the bolt's being tightened to, so that helps out a lot. So, hope this helps somebody out that's got one of these bikes.